Shira of Energy of Align. Welcome to my channel where I talk like this because magical things happen when you talk like this. Welcome to Energy of Allowing. I'm Kashira. Um, I'm so happy that you have stopped by my channel. Um, this is the first video, so I'm super excited to finally share everything that I've been wanting to share on this channel. I'm going to be covering so many different topics, um, energy healing, uh, managing your emotions, law of attraction, um, how to be a power manifester, <laughs> um, other magical topics because, you know, my interest kind of flows in different areas. So. I'm going to be focusing on those things on this channel and also I, I'm open to taking requests from you guys if you guys want me to talk about any particular thing. But the reason for this channel, the reason for Energy of Allowing, I, I realize the power of what it means to allow something in your life. So basically when I think of allowing, I think of like permission. Um, just allowing love, allowing abundance, allowing more money, allowing more freedom, allowing more happiness, allowing yourself to be more kind, allowing yourself to be more disciplined. So yeah, I realized that when it comes to like the law of attraction, for instance, it's like, I feel like a, the, the allowing aspect is is usually left out and it's so important it's like if you you could say that you want something but on so many different levels be resisting what you are saying that you want and so what what I plan to do with energy of allowing is just to explore how we can release or let go of that resistance and allow the things we want to truly manifest in our lives and and in return to live happier more fulfilled lives and a lot of times the things that cause us to resist what the things that we're saying we want are usually thoughts and beliefs that we were programmed with from childhood you know as kids so and then we grew up and those things became part of our core beliefs and and then because of that like all of that determines how you are now, how you relate to other people, how other people perceive you or how you perceive yourself, how much self-confidence you have or how much confidence you don't have. So it's all about how you hold on to certain energies. Like if you have, say for instance, if as a child you experienced a lot of rejection, like how much of that rejection are you still holding on to? Like how much of that did you take on within your being and accepted it as truth? And then how is that affecting now how you interact with the world, how you interact with people, how you express yourself, or how much you hold back? You know what I mean? So I'm so passionate about this because I've had my own series of epiphanies and like aha moments about all the ways in which I, how I became to, how I came to the state of being that I was in a few years ago, or just over the years actually. Like I would have different epiphanies just over time, like oh. So I, I'm viewing myself in this way because of this old belief that came from this, you know? And so I was able to kind of put the pieces together and I'm still, I'm still doing that. It's like an ongoing process, especially learning how to reprogram core beliefs. You definitely want to reprogram core beliefs because you, those are the ones that pretty much either allow you to live the life you want or keep you where you currently are. If you're not happy, then of course you would want to reprogram those. Um, and also to, you also, you'll also be able to uh, manifest easier because you're not blocking it on a subconscious level. So yeah, so I've been learning all these things and I'm like, I need to share this. 
it like literally because it wants to be expressed you know it's that throat chakra chakra however you want to say it it's that throat chakra throat chakra that really it can't be suppressed and it, sometimes when it is suppressed you just you get angry but nobody's telling you not to express yourself but it's like sometimes if you feel like you're too different you just want to hold back and like I don't want to be like that so I'm like I'm about to share everything that I've been experiencing everything that I've learned especially those major things that I feel like have created great change in my life and yeah I'm gonna share that with you guys so that is a little bit of what you can expect on this channel I also have a blog energyofallowing.com so definitely check the blog because I'm gonna be posting a lot of stuff there and yeah I'm hopeful I hope in the future that as I continue to develop um, this into a system that I can help so many other people to just get rid of those those stubborn blocks or those limiting beliefs um, that's making you not be the amazing not okay that's making you not be who you are to the fullest of that potential yeah <laughs> yes guys so we're gonna be experiencing and growing together um, I will say right off the bat that I am more spiritual than anything else I'm not religious um, but I see things the way that I kind of define my spirituality is unique to me and so if you are open-minded and you are in if you're open-minded and you like to explore different possibilities then I think you should stick around and hit that subscribe button because there are there is so much amazingness to come on this channel all right guys so peace and power and we're gonna be moving closer to allowing the life of your dreams